This is part two of a look at the Windows Vista graphical user interface or GUI. Last time we looked at the taskbar, icons, and the desktop visual effects like the aerial effects. This time we want to look at windows, folders, and what they look like when you open them up. And compared to Windows XP, the Windows Vista look and windows are very different. Similar but different feel to it. First off, notice that the windows look on the boundary of the windows look much different from Windows XP. First off, I have my Windows Aerial Effect 3D effects on and you see this transparency blue color on the outside of the windows which is nice. You can change the color in your preferences. You have this menu bar. Now, I've changed my windowing view to show the menu. By default, when you when you have Windows Vista, it's not going to show you the menu. The menu bar, you have to go into this button called Organize. You go to Layout and you add the menu bar. You can also change the layout like this bar down here which shows you information about items. By going here you can decide if you want a preview pane which if let's create a new folder right now or let's create a Word document. By going here it would show you First down here it shows you some information and if you have some text in this document it will show you some things in this preview pane. You can I don't really like the preview pane so I don't really use it. We'll delete this folder, this document. Now we also see, let's look at, first let's look at the menus bar. We see here this, um, com uh, not command, but option here. This is if you have Windows, um, Microsoft Office. This is an entity dealing with, uh, Office Groove. Not anything standard on Windows Vista, but if you have Office on your, uh, system, then you most likely see this. That's for, uh, Office Groove. Let's look at this, this new. By going here, you can create a new folder shortcut. If you have Office, you can create some new documents. Bitmap image contacts. I have Open Office on my system too, so I can create some Open Office documents, text document, a briefcase, and a compressed zip folder if I would choose to. Here, create a shortcut. We can close, edit, shows you some options to undo, delete, or redo whatever you were doing in a folder. It's giving me the option to undo, delete when I deleted my Windows uh, Word document. Most of these options will be relatively available when you have things in your folder such as a Word document and by selecting it you see that we now have these options to do certain things uh, and depending on how your system is set up you have some security options and so forth when you have selected things and the views you can change the views to extra large which is extremely big large medium small and so forth you have the tools button you can change the folder options, map network drive, and so forth, and help. And now here is a nice new feature with the menu. You have a much more arrangement of menus. So this organize is quite similar to the file and edit. And it gives you some things to do here. Look at properties and so forth. 
by clicking the views button you don't have to go to the view and select one of these all you need to do is click the views button and by clicking it it gives you a nice it shows you an array of different views slideshow if you have pictures and burn if you want to burn the content in this folder onto a D CD or DVD and depending on the selected item you have this option still like this word by selecting it I get this open option it allows me to open in Word, Word Processor, or uh, Open Office's Writer, where I could choose a default program. I can print, email, or share the document as well. Depending on the file that you have, you can do that. If I have an image file here, like a, a bitmap, and I click it, it gives me some preview options and it shows me all the programs I could use to preview it so let's look at the some of the Windows menus let's look at the favorites link this sidebar here shows you quick sort of like the quick launch items or icons by clicking these folders here it quickly takes you to all of the all of your documents and this can be edited you can change things here like you can put a folder here and you can change how things look here down here you have uh, a look at all of the content on your computer control panel and computer and public folders and just another quicker way to find things on your computer you can change the orient of the size of these links using this long line here you can change you can also change if you have things viewed in a list you can change the size of the information that's being shown here and so forth you may also right click any of these tabs here you can customize the information that's shown by clicking more you have a, a very a ton of things you can view if you choose to basically all of this stuff you can customize how your windows look whenever you open a window that's basically all this is it's meant to easily let you find whatever you need to find in one folder simply by changing the size of the information or clicking these buttons and taking you to different places on your system and so forth. Very similar to Windows XP. Here's something we didn't look at. Look at this. In Windows XP, this is similar to what you would see on your address. In Windows Vista is very much more organized and by clicking these buttons here you can easily track back to whatever folder that's within whatever these folders are up here. So very easy and intuitive way to switch folders. You have your back buttons and forward buttons of course. And you can track back using your history you have a search box here to search just like in the search start search here and this button which allow you to refresh if you need to refresh the um, folder and so that's basically it with the introduction or the graphical user interface of the window and the windows operating system and of course you can you still have the minimize you still have the maximize, minimize buttons and this red X button here allows you to close whatever you were doing. So that's it for this video. Just a nice look at the windowing system inside of Windows Vista. In our next video we're going to look at the Mac OS X windowing system, the Aqua windowing system in Leopard. So that's what's going to be happening in the next video.